room, the two rectangular parlors that flank that oval-shaped blue room in between. And what kind of art in general is here at the White House? Well, we have, I mean, principally our collection is portraits of presidents and first ladies. We'll get to that with White House curator Bill Ullman in a minute. First, some surprises. The most famous portrait inside the White House is his portrait of George Washington. And as famous as it is, it actually has a mistake. Here it says the Constitution laws of the United States. It's missing a T. The painting is the only piece of art saved from the original White House that burned down. Officially, there are more than 500 works of art here, but nearly everything is considered part of the collection, from the cloth walls, carpets, furniture, and odd objects. One of the most interesting pieces is the silver-plated uh, hot water urn. Uh, above the spigot, it is engraved with the initials J-A-A for John and Abigail Adams. And this unique chair. Can I sit in this chair? Mm -hmm. sure. Tell me who has sat in this chair before. Most often it's the first lady. I think you know, Mrs. Bush, Mrs. Clinton both particularly liked the, this chair. that chair and the, and the guests got to sit in this chair. And this is considered part of the artwork. This right. is considered a part of the historical collection. Now, unlike most museums where everything is under glass and behind ropes, uh, you know, here the nature of the White House collection is for people to come in and actually be able to enjoy it in the sense of sitting on the chair, walking on the carpet, eating off the china. Bill, I have to say, I, I am enjoying this chair. It's very comfortable. You let me know what I can eat off the china, okay? <laughs> Most of the pieces on the first floor are from the 19th century. Traditional portraits and landscapes with a few recent modern additions, like this abstract by African-American artist Jacob Lawrence. There are fresh flowers everywhere. Fresh flowers were not in the White House until the 1850s. It was considered unhealthy. Really? They had uh, glass or, or uh, cloth flowers, and they ask all the time. They're always asking me, you know, what are the species? And I'm like, mm, those you are roses. Are That's roses. <laughs> I got roses down. Okay. <laughs> Beyond that. But very beautiful part of the, uh, part of the art as well. 350,000 visitors traipse through each year. Does Bo, the dog, does he ever get to run on these carpets, or are, they, are there any rooms that are off limits? As far as I can tell, no. Bo's really? a really, really good dog. <laughs> Has he ever messed up the carpet, honestly? Not that I've been told. And like I promised, all the past presidents and first ladies are here. President Monroe was painted by Samuel Morse, who invented the telegraph. This one, based on the idea that Lincoln's sitting in this chair listening to his generals and his admiral advise him on how to bring the Civil War to a conclusion. President Kennedy was done by Aaron Schickler. It's a very sort of contemplative looking down uh, you know, the weight of the world on your shoulders kind of thing. And that's, that's what Mrs. Kennedy mm -hmm. wanted. Right. So let's go take a look at the First Ladies. Okay. So this is the ground floor corridor. Here, Hillary Clinton, Jacqueline Kennedy, Lady Bird Johnson, and Eleanor Roosevelt. The art collection of the First Family, their private collection is in the residence in the East and West Wings. That's where you see their personality and their taste reflected in their artwork. If we were in the Obama residence, what kind of different art would we see? Well, it's, it's these large, generally abstract works uh, by, you know, famous American artists Jasper Johns, Louise Nevelson. Also, more works by African Americans, women, and other minorities. In the Oval Office, a bust of Martin Luther King and a Norman Rockwell of the Statue of Liberty torch. But before we let Bill go, we just had to ask one more question. There have been lots of rumors about the White House being haunted. Any of these paintings ever seem to talk to you or? I'm not big in on the haunting story. <laughs> Do you uh, but find the, it but true? there are people. I mean, President Truman thought it was true. He, he claimed that President Lincoln's ghost was here. He claimed that the paintings were moving because of President Lincoln's ghost.